Hey, what's up everyone and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna go over how to deploy smart contracts on any EVM blockchain. That's right, I said any EVM blockchain. That means you can deploy smart contracts on blockchains like Optimism, Polygon, Avalanche, Arbitrum, base or any other evm compatible blockchain that you can think of you can even deploy smart contracts on your own local evm compatible blockchain so in this video we're going to really quickly go over how you can go ahead and deploy your smart contracts on any of these evm compatible blockchains and we're also going to go over how you can import contracts not deployed through third web but how you can still utilize third web's dashboards and how you can also still use those contracts with the third web sdk so let's go ahead let's get started and jump right into it so like I was saying, with ThirdWeb, you can now deploy on any EVM. That means we support over 700 different EVM compatible blockchains. If you come on over to the website thirdweb.com slash chains, you can check out the chains list and it will show information on all the EVM compatible blockchains that you can go ahead and deploy your smart contracts to. So you can go ahead, do a quick scroll. You can also search chains over here. Like we can go ahead and search for Coinbase base's new base chain and you can see we have their early testnet version right here uh, we can also do things like optimism and you can see optimism right here you can go ahead and deploy your contracts to optimism as well so what we're going to do is really quickly show you how you can go ahead and deploy to any of these blockchains that you choose to do so so i'm going to connect my wallet here really quick all right and i'm going to head on over to my contracts dashboard right here you can go ahead and select deploy contract or deploy new contract in the top right corner and you can select one of the contracts that we have available so just for this example sake we're going to go ahead and choose nft drop and from here of course you can go ahead and read more about the contract that you want to deploy but in the top right there is a button to go ahead and deploy now now we can go ahead and give this um oops now we can go ahead and give this a name so i'm just going to say any evm here um we're just going to name it evm uh this and we'll give it a description so this is an example of an evm and we can go ahead you can set whatever uh, payout settings you need to but the most important part is down at the bottom where it says network and chain so normally you will have a drop down of some mainnet and testnet um, blockchains that you can go ahead and deploy to but if we go to configure networks so once we're in the configure network this is where you can go ahead and search and add any blockchain that you want to add to your list of blockchains that you have here so normally there is a set list that we have of mainnet and testnet blockchains but if you want to add something that isn't there, uh, all you need to do is use the, uh, you need to search the network name. So if it is something that already exists, so we can do like uh, Coinbase's new base uh, blockchain. So we can add the base girly testnet here. Uh, we could just do that really quick. So you can see, you can click on that. It adds the chain ID and everything for us. It adds the RPC URL. It has a little icon and everything. And we can just go ahead and add the network. Now, if we come on over to our test nets on the side, you'll see that we have the base girl early test net right down here. Now, if you have your own custom blockchain that you want to go ahead and do, you can go ahead and go under custom and you just have to fill out that information manually. So give it a network name, uh, put in the network ID, chain ID, your currency symbol. You can select if it's a mainnet or testnet and put your RPC URL right over here and upload a little icon if you want as well. And you just simply need to add network right there. So once you have that, you can go ahead and in this drop down, you can now select one of those EVM compatible blockchains that you went ahead and added in your network configuration. So if we want to go ahead and say deploy to, um, let's just say Optimism's Girly Testnet, we can go there, uh, we can hit deploy, it'll have our wallet switch to the proper network. And what you can go ahead and do is just hit deploy. Now, I don't have any funds uh, for this test net, uh, but what you can do is of course, select any of those blockchains, we'll say uh, Mumbai Matic test net, and then we can switch to Mumbai here. And then from there, we can go ahead and deploy your contract and it should prop you up with the transaction to go ahead and confirm and deploy those contracts. I'm gonna go ahead and reject this one. And again, that goes for any EVM blockchain. 
Now, another cool feature we added was allowing you to go ahead and import contracts that weren't necessarily deployed through Third Web. So if we go on over to our contracts here, um, we can go ahead and see these are contracts that I have already deployed uh, with Third Web. But if we come up to the top left here, you'll see a search bar that says search any contract. So in there, you can actually paste a contract address um, and you can see this is the Cool Cats contract address. And what you can do is you can go ahead and select that and import your contract into the Third Web dashboard. Now, the cool thing about this is one, you'll be able to look at the functions and features of your smart contract in a nice clean UI that Third Web offers. So you can also go in there to explore. You can see all the write and read functionality of your smart contract. You can check out the event history of what has happened on that contract as well. This goes for uh, transfers, mints, uh, anything that would normally show up on like an ether scan or a transaction history. You can view it all over here as well. You can even take a look at the NFTs and you can see the metadata and everything. Who is the owner of them all right here in the third web dashboard. Now, the other cool part is under code, it will go ahead and give us code examples of how we can utilize the smart contract that we imported into third web. So if you wanted to start creating a uh, application with third web's SDK, you can go ahead and you can see that this snippet of code here allows you to get the contract information. Um, you can do things like get a single NFT. It'll show you how to go ahead and grab certain NFTs depending on token ID numbers. And you can go ahead and look at how you can call all the different functions or read the different types of events on the smart contract as well. So it gives you a little bit of a head start and a little bit of a guide on how you can utilize those smart contracts with Third Web's SDK. And there you have it. You can go ahead and now deploy your smart contracts on any EVM compatible blockchain as well as if you already have a smart contract deployed and you want to use Third Web's tools, you can go ahead and import your smart contract to Third Web's dashboard and you can get a quick started guide on how to go ahead and start building applications with Third Web's SDK and your contract. But I hope you folks enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you're alerted when we post more tutorials just like this. And if you haven't joined our Discord, Discord already, go ahead, join our Discord, join the amazing community of builders just like yourself. If you have any questions or need any support, our team is happy to help you out in Discord. But I hope you folks enjoyed this video and you found some value in it. And until next time, see ya.